guys, it's Milana. Welcome back to my channel. I'm walking my dog right now. Say hi, Koa. Hi, Koa. I love my neighborhood walk. It's it's the best. It's uh, the sun just set. Um, okay, what I want to talk to you guys about today. Um, oh, by the way, before we get into it, I am so cold. It's it's literally 60 degrees, and I realize I'm such a wimp because that's like Southern California winter. This jacket has like this reflective metal layer inside so it reflects your body heat back to you um i need it for these cold california winters but i'm curious what the weather is like where you are um i know that's such a dad question to ask i'm secretly like i'm secretly a dad because i i care about these things what's the weather like where you're at okay tell me tell me um okay so i did this I listened to this podcast by Andrew Huberman, um, I think on Monday, and in his podcast, he talks about this exercise that, well, not exercise, I'll get into it. It's a journaling exercise where you journal about the most traumatic or stressful event that you've been through, like in your entire life. You're supposed to journal about it for 15 minutes on four different occasions and you can oh, sorry i'm out of breath it's it's kind of uphill it looks of course it looks flat in the video i swear it's a hill look at this little bear he's dressed up like a christmas guy ah christmas lights so fun um this lighting is much better should i walk backwards hopefully i don't run into anybody oh gosh what was i saying i hate it when i interrupt myself Okay, I'm gonna come sit on this bench over here. Okay, so what you do, you do this journaling thing, most traumatic, stressful experience of your life for 15 minutes on four different days. You can do them four days in a row or you can spread it out to be like a week apart. So like on Monday this week and then on Monday next week, you're supposed to like set your timer and you're not supposed to like stop writing. Like you keep writing, like you put pen to paper and you just go, you freaking go. Um, and then, so there's been all these peer-reviewed scientific studies saying that this has like profound um, effects on your immune system and like your blood and um, like your brain. They've done all these brain scans on people before and after doing this experiment, like this exercise, um, even like weeks after and by doing this they've found that what happens is like with the most traumatic experience we've ever been through usually um you haven't like talked about it or like worked through it since it happened like we tend to just avoid it and yeah really just avoid it we don't want to talk about it we don't want to deal with it so then we've we haven't fully processed it so it stays in our brain very discombobulated um and it's just like very chaotic. But when we do this journaling exercise, it makes our brain reprocess it and it rewires your brain so that it's not so chaotic, so that you're more clear on like what happened. And you can also see the effects that this has had in your life, like other areas in your life where like, oh, this just keeps re, being recreated, re-manifested, re-attracted to me in, in these other ways. So it's super freeing mentally. However, <laughs> during the exercise itself, it's like super brutal because you're literally in the depths of the worst thing that has ever happened to you and like reprocessing that. And um, I did it this week. I did it four days in a row and I definitely cried at least twice. But I will say, on the last day, it got a lot easier. And I was also just like so done with hashing out this experience that I've been through. And I applied something I learned from another book to it on the last day when I felt like ready to do this. Um, I Part of my journaling on the last day, I journaled like, how did I create this situation? And what did I gain from this situation? And by writing that your brain wants to answer whatever you ask so how did I create it well I could see how I attracted it because of 
<laughs> I don't want to give away what I what this experience was about um, but I could see how I attracted it because of what my energy was like at the time that it happened and what I gained from it was seeing just how powerful of a creator I am I was so powerful that I affected and influenced people who I did not mean to influence with my energy and that caused them to do certain things that was never my intention but because my frequency was so intense it's like it was like a tornado and wrapped other people up into it and caused this very dramatic um, chaotic stressful event so it's like wow it all just points back to my own belief in myself of like dang I'm a super powerful creator way more powerful than I know um, so after doing this journaling exercise, I just feel so much more free. I feel way more relaxed about this specific situation. I feel like a lot more comfortable to talk about it. Um, I, it's definitely something that has impacted my relationships. And I feel like by doing this, I now feel a lot more relaxed in my relationships because I'm not thinking about it in the back of my mind. Um, being concerned about it coming up again in any way I'm just like a lot more like okay this is something that happened in the past I didn't do anything wrong um, but I got to be aware of my frequency and like what energies I am tuned into and embodying because your energy is so powerful so so powerful let me just tell you that um, so anyways I highly, highly, highly recommend doing this journaling exercise. I plan on doing it again. I might take a couple days off for the weekend, um, but I'm going to pick another event next week. In, I'll also link the podcast in the show notes below so that you can listen to it. Um, this is not just like some random exercise that someone came up with. This is actually, they've done over 200 peer-reviewed like scientific studies on this and they've like measured people's blood done the brain scans and found these dramatic insane results and Andy Huberman says he's like I personally am like absolutely shocked at the results from a journaling exercise where like there is no medicine being involved nobody is taking any substances nothing it's literally the mind-body connection and emotional regulation, but like not even emotional regulation, more so emotional purging. Oh, Ko is looking over there. I wonder if someone's coming. Um, so yeah, one other thing that I did that I think was really helpful was after I did these journaling exercises, I would do fascia maneuvers because sometimes I'd finish it and I just felt like disgusting. I felt horrible. And I think it's really effective, like when you bring up a trauma to then do something to release it further, like really release it from your body. So um, I highly recommend doing some fascia maneuvers after you do your journaling exercise, which I have other fascia videos on this channel. I will also link those in the show notes below so that you can just do your set your timer, do your 15 minutes of journaling, then literally do five, five minutes of fascia, just do a few moves. Um, and then if you can take a bath or a shower afterwards because that really resets your nervous system It cleanses old energy like it physically viscerally Cleanses you and who doesn't love a good shower cry because then your tears just go down the drain with all the old old energy, so That's my recommendation try out this exercise Brace yourself. It's a little brutal, but it's so freeing on the other side. I'm gonna keep doing it um, by the way, I'm going to be launching my exclusive membership community soon and I'm super excited because we're going to do stuff like this in the community. So we have each other and you're not doing it alone and like I will be holding your hand, guiding you through it, walking you through, releasing trauma, releasing these blocks and things that are chaining you to the past so that you can finally be free of these things. You know, like we talk about this stuff on my channel, but it's the action that is where you really see profound results. It's when you put rubber to the road and actually do the work that you see profound impacts on your life. So I'm really excited to be launching my community. Um, if you're interested in being part of it and joining, comment your email address below. Um, I'm working on getting like a sign up form. So I might have something linked in the show notes below where you can 
click the link and then add your email address email address so that you can be on my interest list. I'm still working through all the logistics, um, but I'm super excited about this and excited to help you. So I hope you guys have a great night and I'll talk to you later. Bye.